Good evening, it's Nikki. It's for Six Designs here in Philadelphia. It's Labor Day evening, or Labor Day night, and I am going to paint. My colors are, well, I already laid my base. Um, and it's a, in like, in like, it's like an emerald green. Well, it is an emerald green. <laughs> uh, the colors that I'm using, this is white. Um, it's the Artist Loft White, but for those of you who have been using it, you know it's been, uh, how do they change the formula and who knows what's going on with it. So I mixed a different white into it, a heavy body white to, uh, okay, to, um, to keep it from reacting the way it does or the way it has been reacting so this here is a metallic brown I used uh, burnt umber and I put some bronze into this this is a yellow ochre with a 24 karat Deco Art Metallic. And the, <clears throat> well, I already told you about the white. And the last color is the emerald green. For those of you who are new, I thank you for coming to hang out with me. I hope that you would give me a like. Feel free to leave a comment and subscribe to my channel. For those of you who have been here before, thanks for showing up and hanging out again. Alright, so I have my cup layered. And I'm wondering if I actually want to stand on this end of the table. Where can I put this at? Um, if I go over on the other side, then this won't be in my way. So, leave it there. This. I'm just going to go here in the center.
All right, let's see what we can come up with. Uh, this table is too long and I need to come over there. <coughs> I moved my camera so So I do have some clean left. Okay, so let's just go. Um, Let me sit this down for a sec because I'm not sure of what composition I'm looking for. So I need to figure that out before. I keep going. Okay, so what I'm looking at is this corner up here. Do and as I ask myself the question, I'm kind of answering the question and telling myself, no, I don't want to leave it like that because there's enough green here. Um, and so I think I'm going to open this white up as much as possible. All right, so maybe I should turn this around. So that you guys can see this a little bit better. Yeah, I'll turn it around. And yeah, it'll be on my side.
Yeah, I think that'll work. That'll, that'll, I think that'll look nice. Okay. All right. Let's kind of find it's enough paint on here to put as well, so that I can definitely drop it off. But I need to find the weight of the paint. And all the weight is still up top. Yeah, it's moving now. I want to be able to open up the design in the middle so I need to push the paint back towards the center of the canvas I think it should be there by now All right. What I want to do is, I don't know if you, you can see here, the lines are squiggly. And I don't want that as the final result. So I'm going to drop that off and then push this paint down so that this can go a little bit more towards the center. And these lines here will open up. But I don't want this squiggly line stuff on here. So let's see if we can drop that first. All right, this going. Now I'm going to turn this around again. This moving is just going slow, which means that I've gotten a great portion of the paint off. Now it's in the center, closer to the center. And I'm going to stop here and look at it from a different angle because I don't know that I want the center of the ring to lie in the center of the canvas. I don't know that that's what I want. Yeah, let me look at it from a different angle. Okay, I like it from this angle. Alright, so I think where I'm standing and I'm over here. Um, I think that this would actually be the orientation and if 
it is the orientation, then it needs to come down a little bit more. So I need to tilt this a little bit more. I, okay. I don't know, if I push for this back, one day you guys will be able to see. Uh, this is not the lightest. Alright, let's see. I'm trying to get this here to come down some. All right. I'll go back on the other side. Okay, I like it, but what I'm seeing, and I'm glad that I'm looking at it from different angles, what I'm seeing is that this would actually look better if the green wasn't there. So I'm just going to go this way. jagged lines so, all right I might have to put you know what there's some paint down there that needs to come off But I didn't get what I wanted over here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay some brown on there and then tilt it off. This was a little bit thinner. It probably would come go off a lot quicker, too. Somebody left me a comment in, um, the other day, one of the videos where the construction workers were outside working and I had, I was, ta I was talking, but I, I overlaid some music on the video and the person commented and told me that she liked the video, but she couldn't hear what I was saying. And... 
what I was just thinking was that some of the time that I'm painting, I'm actually talking to myself. Like I try to be very conscious of people being able to hear me, but sometimes I'm, I'm actually talking to myself about the painting. All right. I think that I am satisfied with this. I think that I am satisfied. You know what? That means a little bit more green. This needs some white over here. Okay. Okay, that's that. And um, I can call this painting a wreck. I need to clean up my sides. Um, I'm apprehensive about heating this painting up because there's a lot of metallic in it and when you torch the paint, torch the paint and there's a metallic in it, you get the pop-ups of the metallic that's underneath. And I don't want any more popping up than what I already have on the canvas. And so I'm really looking for um, like air bubbles. It just tells me something in this paint.
Let's see, because it's mixed with that yellow ochre and gold. This white is mixed with the yellow ochre and gold. So it's not a pure white anymore. So that'll sand out a little bit. But I'm going to tap that in so that it uh, blends a little bit better. And then I will take uh, a video and upload this to YouTube. So, all right. It's been 26 minutes and... I want to say thank you guys for hanging out with me. I greatly appreciate it. Um, I would appreciate it even more if you gave me a like and leave the, left a comment. Drop the link to your YouTube channel if you have one. We can follow each other and grow. And subscribe to my channel. Thanks again. It's Nikki from Source 60 Dines.